This is a May label sew along for our free Frankie wrap skirt. You can download this pattern 100% for free on our website at madelabel.co forward slash free wrap skirt pattern. And if you need help putting together the pattern, check out the link on the screen. To make this pattern, you will need a woven or non-stretch material. We recommend rayon or viscose or something with a similar weight and drape. Always pre-wash and iron your fabric before you start cutting and then you can avoid any kind of shrinkage that is going to happen. To choose the size you're going to create, measure yourself around the waist just above the belly button or at the highest point that you want the skirt to fit. We give back with every pattern and you can check that out at madelabel.co forward slash giving back. After you download the pattern, check out the cutting plan on page three. That's going to tell you how long of a waistband to cut and how to best cut out the pattern on your meterage of fabric. You'll see on your cutting plan that you have a long strip of fabric that's 10 centimeters wide that runs parallel to the selfage edge and we recommend starting with that first. This is going to make up the long part of your waistband. Measure and cut the first part of your strip, then you can flip that over and use it as a guide for the width cutting the rest of the waistband length. You will end up with one longer piece of the waistband and two shorter pieces. You can find the exact measurements for these on your cutting plan. Each made label pattern is going to tell you the name of the pattern piece, how to cut the pattern and also how many to cut. And where to place the pattern in terms of your grain line. Your grain line should always be in line with the selfage edge. For place on fold pattern pieces, start by folding your fabric in half in line with the selfage edge. Place the fold line of the pattern on the folded edge of the material and weigh down your pattern. Then you cut all the way around the pattern except for the line that is placed on the folded edge. Once you open out the cut piece, you'll see that you have symmetrical sides. If you're cutting mirror cut pattern pieces, you want to end up with mirror versions of the same pattern. You can do this by either folding the fabric in half and cutting the whole way around the pattern, or you can cut each piece individually and simply flip the pattern upside down so you end up with mirror versions of the same pattern. Always make sure you're keeping in mind the grain line with the salvage edge. If you're new to sewing or you want to use less fabric, it can be easier to cut the mirror cut pattern pieces individually. And you can see that you end up with mirror versions of that same pattern piece. To start the sewing process, we're going to batch French seams. We're going to start by joining the back panel and the side panel of the skirt, and also joining all of the four frills together. And then to that long piece of frill, you're gonna join the two top frills. So how do you sew a French seam? We call them Frenchies and you start by lining up the two sides of your seams wrong sides together, then pin them in place. The reason that we use French seams when sewing is that it is so much better for the durability of your garment and it's also going to give you an extra awesome finish on the inside of your skirt or dress. So you're going to need to pin together all the seams of your frill and skirt wrong sides together. 
We're then going to head to the sewing machine and sew a 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter seam down all of these seam edges. <laughs> Once you've sewn all of your seams and taken out the pins, we're going to trim that seam back to be less than a quarter of an inch or half a centimeter. You wanna aim for around 1 8 of an inch or 0 0.25 centimeters. You're then gonna open up the seam and press them all flat with the iron. You're then going to flip the fabric with right sides together and you want to press that seam to the very outside edge. You may need to roll the seam a little bit with your fingers and then come behind with an iron. And if you are having any trouble, it can help to dampen the tips of your fingers. We're then gonna head back to the sewing machine and sew a quarter of an inch or half centimeter seam. This measurement is usually marked on the center of your foot, so you'll be able to line that up with the edge of your fabric to get a nice straight seam. Once you've finished sewing all the final seams, give them all a press and then open up the seam and press it to one side. And you can see that all your raw edges are going to be encased in these beautiful French seams. If you have any uneven edges, you can just go back and carefully even them out with some scissors. Now you should end up with your skirt really taking shape with your main section sewn and you should also have a very beautiful flouncy frill. These should be the four frill pieces all added together with the little curved bits on the end. The first thing we're going to need to do before attaching the frill is to hem the outside of it. We are going to use a double rolled hem just using the iron, but if you have it, you can always use a specialty presser foot. So to start, you're going to press a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside of the frill. This can be a little bit tricky around the curved edges, but a quick tip is to dampen the material if you're having trouble in any section. Then once you've pressed the whole way around the outside of the frill, you're going to go back and roll another half a centimeter or quarter of an inch around and press it down again. Now you can test on a scrap piece of material how high you can turn your iron, but rayon and viscose handles a pretty high heat, which means that you're gonna really press that seam in place before heading to the sewing machine. Then you're going to sew right on the edge of that quarter inch or half centimeter rolled hem just so as close as you feel comfortable to the edge and take it nice and slow. Then you're going to do a final press around all of the frill seam just to set everything in place. If you have any uneven edges at the bottom of the skirt where we're going to be joining the frill, you can just go around with the scissors and just trim them off nice and slowly, shaving just a little bit off. We're then going to mark the halfway point and the back panel of the skirt. So joining the seams, you can then measure out where the back center of the skirt would be. Mark this point with your friction iron off pen. Then find the halfway point of your frill and mark this. You then want to join these two marks with wrong sides together. 
From this center point, you're going to pin all the way around the outside edge of the skirt to the very top. And once you have reached the top on one side, you can go ahead and pin from the center back all the way to the other side. So the whole outside of the frill and skirt is attached. If you do find that you have excess frill or too much skirt from movement when cutting pattern pieces, you can use a basting stitch and ease to get them to match. And if you're not sure how to do that, you can check our website, Quick Lessons, with the link on the screen. We're going to use the Frenchie to sew this seam together. So we're starting with a 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimetre seam all the way around the outside of the skirt. You can use your left hand just to shuffle the frill along as you sew. Then want to come back and trim that seam to under a quarter of an inch. And as there is a little bit of a curve to this seam, you may just need to cut it on the curve as well. Just be extra careful not to snip the main part of the frill or skirt. You're going to open up that seam and press it flat flip it over and press that seam to the outside edge. This is going to take a little while as you work your way around the whole outside of the skirt and if you need to you can fasten with pins. Then we're going to return to the sewing machine and finish off with a quarter inch or half centimeter seam. Finally, you're going to press the seam down towards the frill. And there you have it. The main part of your skirt and frill is all attached and looking beautiful. Next, we're going to add the waistband on and don't be afraid by this. Just take it one step at a time. First, we're going to go back and join the two short pieces of your waistband with a French seam. We're not going to walk through these steps, but if you do need a little reminder, just rewind to an early part of the video. So now you're going to have a shorter length of waistband, which is your two piece sections, and a longer part of the waistband, which is one whole length. We're going to join the two parts of the waistband together, creating a hole for your skirt to wrap in. So flip them right sides together. We're then going to mark every two centimeters along this edge. If you do use inches while you're sewing, we recommend to find a centimeter ruler just for this section of the sewing project. So it is very accurate. You're then going to come in 5 eighths of an inch or one and a half centimeters. And you're going to draw a line between the start of the fabric and the first interval. You're going to skip one interval and join the middle two, and then skip another interval and join the last one to the other edge of the fabric. We're going to go to the sewing machine and then sew along these lines. You can pin it in place so it doesn't move. At the sewing machine, starting at the very back and remembering to backstitch, sew up to the start of the first interval and then backstitch. Then with your needle up, you're going to pull the thread to the side and skipping that blank interval, you're going to start sewing on the second line. Make sure that you backstitch at the start and end of all of these intervals. Again, when you reach the end of that second interval, with the needle up, pull the thread to the side and start on the third and final interval. Again, making sure that you give a little backstitch at the start 
and at the very end. And you can see that that has left two gaps. Once you open it up and press it flat, you'll see that you have created a hole for the wrap of your skirt to be threaded through with beautifully finished sides. You're going to line up this waistband hole with the seam where the back panel and the side panel of the skirt meet. Now what you wanna make sure is that this join is sitting on the seam so that the pieced together part of the waistband goes only over one front panel and the long section of the waistband goes over the back and side panel. This allows for enough length in the waistband to come back around and tie. Mark two and one third inches or six centimeters past where the skirt ends on the waistband. And you should do this on both sides. And mark on your skirt where you line up the hole. Then you're going to fold the waistband in half, right sides together, from that mark all the way to the end of the waistband. When you get to the end, cut a 45 degree angle. Pin in place and repeat this process on the other side of the waistband. From that mark on the waistband, you want to sew 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter away from the edge and you're going to sew all the way along the edge of the waistband towards the point. When you reach the 45 degree angle, sew right to the point, put the needle into the fabric and pivot. Then you can sew right off the edge giving you a very clean finish. Make sure you sew the seam on the other side of the waistband as well. Then once you come back, you can chop this little extra bit of fabric at the point and press flat. Then we're going to turn the waistband right side around. I use a chopstick or something that is long and skinny to help with this. And then you can press it flat you may need to jiggle and wiggle to get that seam to the outside edge and get the waistband nice and flat as this will be the tie that runs from the waistband. We're going to turn in 3 eighths of an inch or a 1 centimeter pressed hem. You can see where that waistband is going to start and the tie is going to begin. You want to press that 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter hem on both sides of your waistband. Where the hole is marked, fold it in half, making sure that you keep that hole nice and even. Then with both wrong sides facing up, you want to place the hole on that mark on the seam of your skirt and then you're going to pin it in place. You want to unfold that top pressed seam so the raw edges both line up and then you're going to continue to pin all the way around until you reach the end of the skirt. Make sure that the piece together waistband is over one panel only. Then continue to pin the whole way around the top of the skirt attaching the waistband. Then you're going to sew a 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter seam all the way around the top of the skirt from one side of the waistband all the way to the start of the tie of the other. And we're going to fold over the waistband and encase all those raw edges. Make sure that your seam and your hole line up. Then from there, you're simply going to pin the waistband all the way around the top of the skirt. Once you reach the tie, make sure that you pin where that tie has started to be sewn on the inside edge so you can close that hole up. 
Lastly, you're going to draw a little rectangle with an iron off pen all the way around the outside of your hole so you can sew it in place and stop it from moving. So at the machine, starting at the mark where the tie starts, you're going to sew very close to the bottom edge of the waistband. Make sure you take this nice and slow as it will be a visible seam on the outside top of your skirt. You want to continue sewing all the way around to the start of the other tie and make sure you backstitch just to finish it off. Lastly, if you want to, you can sew a little rectangle around your opening in your waistband. At each point where you need to change directions in the rectangle, leave your needle down to pivot. And because you can never press too much when you're sewing, you're going to give everything one last iron and steam just to make it super crisp for the first time you put it on. Explain. 